Now, you know tonight's comedian from many TV and radio shows. He's also the chaplain of the Christian Comedy Association. Did you even know there was such a thing? Well, there is. And he provides the comedy DVD called Operation Belly Laughs. He does that for our troops and also for his Hilarity for Charity show, which has made him one of the top fundraisers in all the country. I want you to give a big, wonderful welcome to the very funny Gordon Douglas. Thank you. Who's ready to make America laugh again? All right. I love my job. I love this country. I love to go and tell people what God's done in my life. And when I get to do all that, that is heaven on earth. Hey, Valentine's is coming. Who's in love out there? Uh, yeah, if you're married, you better have your hand up, right? Married 30 plus years. My wife says living with me is like being on a vacation. You know, her actual words was I was her last resort. <laughs> We got married, we were told we would not be able to have kids. Physically impossible. And I love kids. I was an angry, hurting kid, and God's given me a love for hurting kids. So we took one off the streets of Philadelphia. Led to two, then three, then six, then nine. <laughs> During that time, my father-in-law moved in. He had a stroke, Charlie. Brought his son, Chucky, who has Down syndrome, to live with us. If you want to know God's unconditional agape love, you need to know somebody with Downs. Oh, what a blessing. And then, praise God, and then... The local prison called my church and said, do you know anybody that would watch prisoners? So we took in two prisoners under a house arrest program. <laughs> so we had three boys with abuse issues, a father-in-law, a brother-in-law, two prisoners, and then God showed he had a sense of humor and blessed us with five miracle babies. <laughs> yeah, four before they told me what was causing it. <laughs> We have fun at our house, though, we do. Anytime we have company, we line up all our kids in the living room and we play a game. It's called Guess Which Ones Are the Convicts. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's interesting? You cover up the ankle bracelet. People can't tell. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love my parents. Man, if we want to see America great again, we got to learn from our parents and grandparents, don't we? The world's greatest generation grew up through the Depression, won a world war, their work ethic, the sacrifice, the values. We need to learn those again. I love my parents, but they were cheap. <laughs> that Depression did something to somebody. Oh, my goodness. My dad told us when the ice cream truck's ringing the bell, <laughs> it means they're out of ice cream. I mean, anybody but me have to eat cereal with a fork just to save the milk? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> well, that generation didn't waste anything, did they? One day, my dad spilled the iodine. He said, Gordon, quick, go cut yourself. I mean, come on. <laughs> World's greatest generation. I love that. I love that. I get to do a lot of shows over the last 30 years. People ask, you have a favorite? No question about it. Three words, women of faith. Oh, <laughs> 20,000 women and me. I felt like a piece of chocolate cake at a Weight Watchers convention. <laughs> well, I knew men events too. I was at a wild game dinner out in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Walked into this big center. There were stuffed animals all over the stage. Foxes, pheasants, deer heads, all this stuff. There was even a lion, a tiger, and a bear. Oh, good, you're with me, you're with me. I love that, I love that. I said to the guy, did you shoot all these? He said, no, my son is studying to be a veterinarian to work his way through school. He works as a taxidermist. Well, I'm from South Philly. He collects taxes. No, he stuffed animals. The comedian, he kicks in. I said, he should put both on a sign. Dr. Jones, veterinary medicine or taxidermy. <laughs> <laughs> then at the bottom, either way, you get your cat back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's three cat people out there. I know, Governor, I know you're a dog guy. I saw your pictures of your puppies back there. I've got two little puppies, little guys, Bandit and Gumbo, right? My daughters talked me into getting kittens. Rescued them off the internet. Oh, Daddy, please, we go and pick up these three little fur balls in a basket. They don't even have names. Teacher said, oh, you just take them home. They all have their own personality. <laughs> she said, you just take them home. You'll know what to call them by the end of the week. <laughs> don't get ahead of me, sir. So we named one Thunder because he was the loudest. We named one Lightning because he was the fastest. And we named one after Trey because he was the pianist. <laughs> oh, now you like for Trey. Let's hear for this band over here. Good stuff, good stuff. 
People ask, what's the toughest show I ever did? I don't know if it's as tough as what you had a couple of weeks ago in the snow. No audience. No audience. We had the perfect guest, Rich Little, a man of a thousand voices. That was awesome. My toughest audience, 600 Amish dairy farmers. <laughs> now, people don't think the Amish have a sense of humor. They do. God's given every one of us the need to laugh, the ability to laugh. There's even a verse in the Bible that says there's a time to laugh. And, uh, you know, they do have a sense of humor. They introduced me as the father of 19 kids. One of the farmers yelled, rookie. <laughs> that is a true story. They laugh. We had fun. They invited me back next year, but I didn't sell one DVD that night. <laughs> next year, bring a generator. I got to go on a singles cruise. Everyone say, ooh. ooh. Man, it's not what I expected. I grew up with love, boat. Remember that? Everybody young, 20s and 30s? No, this was 65 and over. <laughs> Let's just say they were wrinkled before they got in the hot tub. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I went down to the beach, this girl came walking up, one of the sick next to me. Have you seen the bathing suits girls are wearing? See more material than an eye patch. <laughs> it's got a ring around her belly button. I looked, it's a tattoo of a snowflake. <laughs> I thought, 10 years and three kids, <laughs> that's gonna be a spider web. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta think before you ink, kids. Think before you ink. Oh, man, I want to see America great again. And to do that, we got to learn. We got to learn. What a great interview. We got to learn from our parents. Learn. Use your mind and laugh because I've read the last book of the Bible. I know who wins. <laughs> hey, and, and, and don't forget this. Love everybody, right? Even those who disagree because Jesus loves you. This I know, <laughs> for the Bible tells me so. Thanks for letting me share these few minutes. God bless you. God bless America. Gordon Douglas. Gordon, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Hey, if you want Gordon Douglas's hilarious DVDs and his book, it's called Growth Spurts and Growing Pains. You can check out all things about Gordon Douglas at Huckabee.tv. We have links right there.